So hello YouTube, my name is VladForEvla.com and this will be a quick look at uh, HP's laptop 840 and this is the fourth generation. Before we start with, and with this laptop, let's take a look at the uh, power supply. This is basically 65 watts brick. It, its input is 110 to 220 volts, 1.7 amps and output is 19.5 volts, 3.33 amps. Uh, this is I believe the, uh, well, their newest uh, standard plug, the small one. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at the uh, laptop itself. On the left side of the laptop, there is a smart card reader, there is a USB 3.0, VGA connector, and these are the grills for the fan, and of course, Kensington lock. On the rear, there's nothing. On the right side, there is a USB Type-C, D++, Display++ connector, which is nice. These are headphones slash microphone, USB 3. This is a LAN, this is their connector, a SIM card tray, so you can use 4G and the, the uh, power plug. Okay, let's open the laptop and let's take a look at the laptop itself. Now, as you can see, the screen, uh, the screen is, uh, this is a non-touch screen uh, and it's matte, it's not glossy, which I quite like. Now, this version has uh, Bang & Olufsen speakers, which we will be testing. This is their um, camera, which is, I believe, HD. I'm not quite sure if it's full HD, but definitely it is HD. I think it's, it might be 720p. This is the keyboard that is lit up, which is very nice. And this one I quite like. Touchpad is quite nice. I actually like this one. And there is this, I believe it's called track point, if I'm not mistaken. And in the upper right corner, there is a button for wireless and uh, mute uh, to mute speakers and of course on the left side there is well the power button and if i'm not mistaken I, uh, yes you see there is something quite low let me show you on the rear there is uh, there is actually an sd card slot so when you look at like this it, le it looks like there's none but there actually is so the keyboard as i said is a very nice lit uh, very nice lit up and it is uh, well i guess it is okay to write it's not the most quietest keyboard but it's definitely not loud so okay now bear in mind that i'm pressing it a bit harder but yeah and there is one thing that you can see this thing actually looks a bit oh that was the sound okay it looks a bit benty so hmm, not not something to definitely to brag about but again it is an okay laptop and it is an okay keyboard so on the rear there are a couple of screws which i will be unscrewing later to show you just what's underneath now this one has a uh, 16 gigs of ddr4 and it has a toshiba m.2 ssd which by its specs is actually quite fast so let's turn this thing on and let's take a look at the uh, laptop itself now this boot is insanely fast seriously that's pretty much it so yeah So let's go to the device manager and let's take a look. So display adapter is standard Intel HD 620. Computer itself, there is nothing to show. However, this is the uh, hard drive. Okay, let's minimize this. This is the hard drive, which should be insanely fast. Now bear in mind that this hard drive, uh, by the specifications anyway, it has 1440 megabytes per second of read and it has a 760 megabytes per second of write. Now this is M.2 so this might be the case. However, uh, I will be testing it with Crystal Disk Mark. So, what else do we have? Um, controllers, no. Imaging devices, as I said, HP. HP's HD camera. So, um, processor, this one is... Uh, this one is the fastest they offer in this series, which is uh, Core i7-7600U, which, uh, which, which has, I believe, yes, 2.8 GHz. Now these are two cores and obviously uh, four threads. Uh, I believe it has uh, four megabytes of uh, cache and uh, it goes up to 3.9 GHz, I believe, when, it, when it's in Turbo Boost mode. So the other sensors, okay, TPM chip, trusted platform module, and basically that is it. Now, uh, networking adapters are, it, this one actually has uh, an HP's uh, 
4G model, so you can insert SIM card into it and use it everywhere. And it has also an Intel's dual band wireless, which is model AC8265. Well, as you can obviously read. <laughs> so um, let's connect this thing to the uh, internet, and first of all, let's check out how uh, how loud these speakers are. Now I know whether you can see it or not, but this is actually quite neat. Let me just show you, and let me. Uh, move my reflector. This is actually very, very clear and uh, very beautifully lit, so uh, definitely kudos for that. Okay. Now, since this thing is banging, all of a sudden this should be quite loud and good quality, I suppose. Okay, these are not uh, the, uh, well, the speakers are definitely not quiet, I would say that, but I don't know, I'm kind of, uh, they, they shouldn't be, if, if they were originally HP speakers and not Bend and all of a sudden I would say, okay, kudos for HP, but this, um, okay, again, loud, yes, but... They definitely do miss that, uh, well, I would say depth and bass definitely. Now, bear in mind, they're not bad, but mm, okay. Uh, now, the next thing I will be doing is, well, obviously trying whether this thing can play. Well, I know it, it can, but uh, whether it can play 720p, full HD and 4K videos. So I will be connecting my USB drive and copying free samples to the desktop. Okay, so 720p, films and TV is the name of the application. So obviously no stutters and working normally. Okay. Full HD. Pretty. Okay. So obviously no stutters and obviously working perfectly. I should have maybe downloaded a bit more uh, dynamic um, video. But what the hell, everything works with HD. Now 4K. This will be interesting. Mm. <laughs> okay, so open width. Ah. Mm, no. Okay, so it obviously it is working and I believe it is working without problem because I have a way better computer than this one and it is a bit, I would say, stutterish at best, but yeah, it is working normally. Now I will be opening this laptop to show you just what's underneath and whether it is upgradable or not. However, this already has 16 gigs of RAM and uh, 256 gigabytes of SSD. So uh, there's not much. No, this has 8 gigs of RAM. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I actually believe that it has 16. Well, there you have it. Okay, one new thing about this, which I always admired uh, Apple and HP finally did it. You can actually open a laptop just by, well, okay, now bear in mind that this thing is standing on this feet, but yeah. So definitely a thumbs up for that. I do sound like a crazy Russian hacker, don't I? Well, anyway. So yeah, if you hear the noise in the background, my neighbors are drilling something. Hmm. I certainly hope you don't hear it, but hey, what the hell. There is nothing that I can actually do about it. Okay, 
So basically all you need to do is to pull. Okay, again, you have a slot for the uh, normal size hard drive, which is nice. A badass battery and the uh, DDR4 and yes, there are two slots. Now let's see the speed of this memory, whether I can see it just by looking at this. Uh, so 2400 megahertz, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, which is nice. So there you have it. And this is the uh, Toshiba's hard drive. And this is the uh, Huey, which is 4G. And I believe this is the uh, wireless. And there you have it. Now the upgradability of this thing is awesome because you can, well, uh, buy a normal hard drive and just insert it here and you have 256 megabytes of SSD to get that with a normal hard drive. This is the indeed a neat laptop. Now we'll be putting everything together and running Crystal Disk Mark. Well, that's pretty much it. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, so these times are actually quite nice. So yeah, there you have it. Um, this is actually a rather good hard drive and a rather fast laptop. If you do have any suggestions on well how to uh, improve my videos, please do tell me. And if you like, please like, share and whatnot. And that is pretty much it. And see you actually very soon. I have uh, an interesting item arriving. So there you have it. Thanks and bye bye.